Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hand painted cushions. They are really so simple, really quick, and will allow you to completely personalize the cushions in your home. But before we do that, I wanted to talk to you about Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. She has some really awesome videos. She's got loads of subscribers and I just found her videos really inspiring and really helpful. So I wanted to share this with you guys as well. And if you wanna check out her channel, the link is in the description box below. So to make these cushions is really simple. You don't need a lot. All you're going to need is a stencil, which I've made myself. I'll talk to you about that in a second. Some fabric paint, a paintbrush, a cushion cover, and a pair of scissors. So this is how I made my stencil. I have an adhesive sheet here, basically a sticker sheet, and I just printed a design on that I wanted, and then I cut out the design inside, and you can either use the scissors or you can use a scalpel or something. And what's really good about this is because they stick down, you can get really precise and neat lines. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you can, but you could do this using a normal stencil that you purchase from a store. So all you wanna do is just arrange it, design it, really get an idea of where you want those gold pieces to be. And then you can just take the backing paper off and you can stick it down. The one thing I would say is if you're using a sticker like this, I would strongly recommend that you run your finger all around the edge. And that's because if you do that, you can get some really sharp lines. So if you want really sharp lines, you wanna avoid any seepage underneath, then make sure that you really push that sticker down first. I am using Dylan fabric paint number 24 and it's in metallic gold and it's absolutely beautiful. Before you use it, shake it up for a second and then test it on a piece of paper first or a piece of fabric. I have also put in a piece of cardboard so you can just about see that underneath the cushion and what that does is it stops any of the fabric paint from going through to the other side so I would definitely recommend that you do that. To get really nice neat lines what I would recommend that you do is use a flat paintbrush like I am doing, a synthetic brush. And I'm also making sure that I'm pulling towards the middle at all times and I'm doing one direction only. Don't do backwards and forwards, just do it in one direction and you can get really, really beautiful results. Once you've finished painting, you want to make sure that you leave this to dry for at least 10 to 15 minutes first. Once you've done that, you can very gently pull your sticker off and you should be left with a really, really neat and crisp design. But just be careful when you're pulling it off, you don't wanna smudge it. So I would definitely recommend if you even think that it might not be dry, leave it for another five minutes first. If you're using paint like mine, which is the Dylan paint, then you do need to fix this by ironing it first. So to make sure that that comes out really well, your paint needs to be completely dry. Once it's completely dry, you can cover it with a sheet or like I did, just an old pillowcase, and you just need to iron it for one to two minutes and then you can wash it, you can use it, you can lean on it, it remains soft, it's beautiful. I absolutely love this product, so I definitely recommend it. So I hope you give this a go and thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out Catherine's channel in the description box below.